We're at a job site in Pottstown, Pennsylvania on a historic brownstone church. We're doing a uh, ruled raised ribbon joint uh, and we're going to give you a little how-to on how to do it. Basically, you overfill the joint and that's what uh, happened in advance here with a, a lime mortar DGM 300. Looks a lot like brownstone. And we did that so that's a trompe ploy that the raised part then will appear from the street as if that is the width of the joint. But really, the um, uh, the the, uh, the background mortar is uh, you know brought out and sort of scraped away with the stone so that uh, when it finally dries, there won't be exactly a clear delineation line of what is the uh, mortar and then where the joint um, uh, center picks up. Here's some a uh, little bit better dry stuff that they had um, done previously, still drying. Uh, in the end, uh, the joints will dry out so that the uh, scraped away material will look closer to the color stone and the compressed top of the joint, okay, when, when you compress it with a, with a tool, it'll actually dry lighter so that it appears then uh, to be a narrow joint. So. Here uh, we overfilled, and then now down here, uh, the guys are taking and they run a little, uh, basically two hacksaw blades with a piece of keel between the blades. Um, you can then uh, cut the lines, these these lines. You can point those lines out, those little railway track lines there. Yeah, cut those lines out, and then come back and scrape away the excess, and that. Scraping the way the excess gives the uh, the appearance of that, or actually, it's not just an appearance; it is a raised ribbon. The reason it's called ruled is that our cut man Dan will actually use a um, he'll use a level, and he will put it there, and with uh, the hacksaw blades between two board, two slight pieces of like uh, fairing strip would then have the piece of keel crayon between and he would follow the line of the uh, ledger board or, or level he would have on there in order to uh, make a very straight uh, ruled meaning level uh, set of little railroad tracks here you know those little those two cuts and uh, the reason we put so much material to build it up is that we don't only want it to be ruled so that it's level we also don't want it to be waving in and out, so we want to put plenty of material on, and that's how you do that. Hi, this is Andy. Sign up for weekly hands-on workshops to practice and perfect this and other associated techniques with LineWorks US.